What is the most likely diagnosis? So a 42-year-old man presents with a three-month history of recurrent headaches. Um, he describes the headaches as dull, pressure-like sensation affecting both sides of the head, especially in the late afternoon. Um, okay, I already have an idea of what this could be. The pain is moderate in intensity and does not worsen with physical activity. He denies photophobia, phonophobia, and aura. Um, so with this, given that it's also a man, um, they are most likely at risk for cluster headaches. But with that being said, um, sorry, that's still not my final answer. I apologize. I apologize. The thing is that it's both sides of the head, which is why I'm thinking it's tension headache instead. Okay. Um, this cluster is just, it would have just been one side. Okay, and fine. I'm thinking with that, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, so don't get tricked up. One of the risk factors for headaches for a man is cluster on the test. But remember, like you said, it's usually unilateral and it, they usually say, you know, it's like an ice pick through the eyeball, right? They could have tearing, right? Things like that. So it's, it's very, very extreme. But here it's usually at the end of the day when he's more stressed, he's more tight. So that's going to be a tension headache, right? Migraine, right, is moderate, severe throbbing or pulsating pain, usually on one side of the head, right? Mm -hmm. You can have photophobia, phonophobia, nausea, right? Some aura cluster we talked about a little bit, right? Usually unilateral orbital or periorbital mm -hmm. pain that lasts 15 to three minutes. Pseudotumor cerebrae or idiopathic intracranial hypertension is headaches kind of all the time, usually worse in the morning, can have yeah. some visual uh, disturbances, papilledema, right? Usually female and a little bit heavier females, right? Trigeminal neuralgia is super, super bad facial pain in the trigeminal distribution. Um, so touching, speaking, chewing, right? All that can be really, really bad. So um, yeah, best answer here is tension. So good job. So with pseudo tumor cerebri, uh -huh. um, vitamin lack of vitamin A is a risk factor for that as well, right? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> um, let me check here. Let's see risk factors for pseudo tumor cerebri. Let's see obesity, female age 20 to 50, tetracycline, isoretinoin, cortico. Yeah, so I guess like low vitamin A, it seems like, because that's what kind of this causes, and then anemia. So I think so. All right. Um, no, you know what it is? Excess vitamin A causes idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Okay. That's is that what I'm thinking of. Oh, that's what you're thinking of. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. And that's the same thing, by the way. Pseudotumors, yeah, pseudotumor cerebri is the same as idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Mm. So they're the same thing. Let me take a note of that. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was some sort of association. All right. 